As you can see, I have dressed up a little bit, which means Oktoberfest is just around the corner. Every woman dresses up for whatever occasion. We used to say, well, look at her. She pretzeled up. And there's a little bit of sarcasm in it, in case you didn't notice. It's, you know, kind of funny way to say, well, she really put some work into her outfit. And uh, pretzeling up is kind of leading us to our topic today, because we will be doing some pretzels. <music> step I will mix some warm water with sugar and with the yeast. I'll take about half a cup of water and two teaspoons of sugar, one package of yeast and I add this to the water. Give it a little stir. Set it aside. Now I take three and a half cup of flour, which is 500 gram, and I add 50 gram of butter, which is a little less than half a butter stick. I also add three teaspoons of baking powder. And you can see that the yeast is already activated. You can see it's foaming. I will still let it stand for another few minutes before I add it to the flour. You might have noticed that I haven't added salt to the flour yet. I will do that at the very end before I knead the dough so that the, dough the yeast doesn't die from the salt. It's very sensitive to salt. I now add the remaining water, it's still warm and also add the yeast. And I will quickly give it a short knead. And now I will add a teaspoon of salt. Well, now the dough has to be kneaded for 15 minutes. That's quite some time, uh, but it's really necessary and I would really recommend you sticking to these 15 minutes with the kneading so that the dough gets really soft and very smooth and is very good to form the uh, pretzels later. All right, so that's been 15 minutes. And uh, like every yeast dough, now this has to rest and rise and I will just cover it with a little bit of cling wrap and put it outside on the patio where here in Texas right now it is really warm. So I hope it's gonna rise pretty fast usually takes about 40 to 50 minutes. Now look at this. This has been raising very nicely. It feels very warm. And I will carefully put it out of my bowl. Just knead it a little bit and I divide it in six to eight portions. Just like this. OK. 
Okay. So, let me see. Sometimes I have to wait a little to give this um, dough a little rest before I can really shape it into the pretzels. But this seems, let's see. Yeah, you see it's, I try to make a string and it's going right back into the previous shape. Let's see. If it continues to do that, I would have to let it rest for a little longer. Now let's try. Yes, this is perfect. So here's my first pretzel. And in case you missed it, I will show you again how I did this. So I make this really long shape. And I leave the middle thicker than the ends. So it looks like this. And what I'm doing, oops, what I'm doing very fast is I cross my arms and with a speed, you can see this is um, wrapping it around itself and then I put it down and form it into a pretzel. So let me do this again. And this is how it's done. And you can, of course, make bigger pretzels. Um, I like them when they are more thick because I like to cut them open and put some fresh cold butter into them. And um, some people like them rather crisp and they make them a little thinner. So it's up to you how you like your pretzels. So here's another one. Oops. There we go. There's supposed to be three holes in your pretzel, by the way, so one, two, three. Okay, um, what I have to do now is to put them for a few seconds into some uh, soda water and um, Usually this is a lye that, that we use in Germany, a um, sodium lye, and uh, I don't have that here. Also it is like a little bit, you know, complicated to, to use this lye since um, you would have to wear um, gloves and eye protection and all these things. I'm not doing that, I'm doing it just with some water where I dissolve some soda in it. And this is a safe way, it gives the pretzel the color that we want, this little brownish kind of thing. And um, it's not exactly the same, but it's almost as good as the light thing. The real German pretzel, if you want to have it, you really have to travel to Germany. Um, or you can go to Las Vegas because there they have a real German pretzel made with a real German flour and recipe. Uh, there is a Hofbräuhaus in, in uh, Las Vegas. I haven't been there, I've just heard about it. But uh, they really sell the original pretzel from Munich. So I'm now bringing two liters of water 
to a boil. And for each liter, which is about four cups, I um, add three tablespoons of soda. So for two liters, this means I have to add six tablespoons. wait until this is boiling. Okay, so this water has come to a boil. I will lower the heat and try my best to speak a little louder so you can hear me over the cooking sound. Now I take my first pretzel and put it on my slotted spoon and I put it in here for five seconds. I take it out again. I think there was five seconds. Well, Americans, they count Mississippi 1, etc. While we in Germany count from 21 to 25 in our language. I will show you how that works. 21, So this would be five seconds. In and I put each pretzel on a baking sheet. Here comes my next one. So you can put them in here for three to five seconds. And the longer they are in, the darker they will be in the baking process. So now that this is done, I will take a sharp knife and give it a little cut here on the thicker area. And before I put these pretzels into the oven, I will let them rise another 10 minutes. And then I will bake them at 400, uh, no, at 395, sorry. I will bake them at 395 degree Fahrenheit. And um, they need to be in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes, of course, depending a little bit on your oven and on how um, dark you want them. There's one more thing. There needs to be some salt on this and I happen to have this very interesting salt that my oldest daughter brought me from Germany from some uh, hotel event. It is Kalahari salt. Oops, yeah, here you can see it, Kalahari salt. It's very coarse. Um, you can use any salt, probably kosher salt, kosher, 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 I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, we don't have that kind of salt in Germany. So, but I will just add a little bit of salt. When we give our kids the pretzels, we remove most of the salt because it's not so healthy for them. And also they don't like it too much.
So in 10 minutes, I will put this into the oven. As I open the oven, you can see that I put a uh, um, casserole with some water in there just to increase the humidity in the oven, which makes the pretzels more crisp. And I put the timer on 15 minutes. And after 15 minutes, I will check if they are done or if they need a few more minutes. So 15 minutes have passed. Let's take a look. They look nice already, but they will need a few more minutes. They are a little bit too bright and I want them a little darker. So I'll just add like three minutes and see how it goes then. Let's take another look. And let's see. I think they look really good. If you like them darker, you can leave them in a little longer. But I like them just like that. Let's take them out. So here is one of my pretzels and now I show you how I like to eat them. I just cut them open, they're still a little bit hot, but not all the way through. And then I take some butter and spread it in between the slices. Some people like to add some salami or cheese or something that's called obatsa, but I just like them with some butter. Oh, this is really good.